So today I'm with my mummy and we're a little bit late on the old uh, kind of group shopping today because we had to go to the police station and get a lost report. It's seriously busy in Florence today because it's a public holiday. But um, we went to the police station to get a police report for my stolen wallet, um, which is kind of a bummer, but it's all done now so I can claim for it on my insurance and it's all fine. So we're shopping again or just sightseeing. Um, and today I thought I would show you some of my favorite places to shop in Florence because I've been to Florence. Mum comes to Florence quite a lot too. Um, but Great between place. us we've been, how many times have you been? Like 10? Something like that. Probably. Yep. And this Lots is my times. fifth visit or fourth visit, I think. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite places to shop, a few of my favorite places to eat and maybe a few sites as well because I didn't show you too many sites on the first day but yeah we'll see how it goes so the first shop that I definitely recommend in Florence is Coin which is a department store and it actually kind of reminds me of the smaller Bloomingdale's in New York which is kind of a little bit more boutique-y a little bit kind of it, it's just kind of smaller it has all of your main kind of like makeup brands everything Mac, Heels, I'm gonna see if I can have a quick look inside but it's just a little bit more look at the beautiful Christmas lights in there see it's just a little bit smaller, a little bit more kind of boutique-y feeling. Definitely something I would recommend checking out. And then two doors away on the same street, which is the Calzaioli Street, is the hotel that we're staying in, which is Hotel Calzaioli, which is really nice. I would definitely recommend it because it's it's so central, um, but it's not too expensive to stay in. If you can see, this is the lobby. The lobby downstairs is really tiny, but the rooms are really nice and clean, and it's just generally really good. Another really cool shop that we just discovered is Nadine, which is a vintage shop. It actually sells um, vintage Chanel buttons made into like new original jewellery. And I'll actually show you some that I bought in a upcoming video. But Nadine is a really awesome shop if you're into vintage and you want a little bit of kind of vintage Chanel, but it won't cost you a lot and it's really kind of chic and unique as well. This is Dixie, which is actually a chain. And I think there are a few of these in the city. Um, you can't actually see, where's the branding, here, you can see it in the window and it kind of does a really good mixture of different things, there's a lot of different kind of high quality pieces and also some cheaper things, but it's a very similar style to um, Zadig and Voltaire, so um, if you guys know the French designer Zadig and Voltaire, it's very similar, like lots of skulls, lots of kind of loose knits. Um, but it's a lot cheaper, so I really, really like that, and we all kind of found something different from there, so that's Dixie. Another great little place that we found is this little shop, which is called My Street of Fabrica, and it's actually a big shop. Like, it goes along for three doors, but you kind of don't realize, and it sells a really eclectic mixture of vintage jewelry, there's kind of new jewelry, there's handmade soaps, there's kitchen stuff, and there's even a cafe in the end too, which is it's a really nice place just to kind of browse. Um, and there's lots of girly stuff in there, so I really like that one. Another one of my favorite places to eat or get a coffee in Florence is the O Bar, and it actually has kind of a few names. It's called the Golden View Open Bar, but it has a cafe bit, which is here, and then a restaurant, and it's kind of really quirky. It has lots of different artwork, kind of indoor features as well, like crazy kind of indoor beds and indoor water features. And if I just cross the road to show you these, uh, the fish in the window, this is really crazy. <laughs> is some of the uh, little friends that you can eat. That looks scary, octopus. Get him. Oh, but it's actually a really, really cool restaurant. The food is really good and um, it's a good place if you want to go um, anywhere to have kind of a smart dinner, like if you're going out or for a special occasion or anything, it's a good one. And last but not least, me and my mom's favorite place to shop when we're in Florence is the Gianni Chiarini temporary store, which I don't think it's very temporary because it's been here ever since we started coming to Italy, maybe like seven or eight years ago, so or six or seven years ago. Um, and it honestly does the best quality Italian leather bags, but they're not actually that expensive because a lot of them you see on the market are not great quality and they're still fairly expensive. And then you find a lot of ones that are cheap but not great quality, and then you find great quality ones that are really expensive. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. And yeah, the pricing is really good, the quality is amazing and they do some amazing designed bags. So if you want to buy a really lovely Italian bag but you don't want to spend thousands, then this is definitely the place to go in Florence for that. Hi everyone, so I hope you guys all enjoyed my shopping tips for Florence. I actually missed out a couple of restaurants on at the end. The first one, um, which I totally just forgot to film outside, the first one is Zaza, which is, I'll put um, an annotation here actually of the street that it's on, but it's right next to the market. And that's a really kind of cool, quirky restaurant to eat. 
um, for lunch or dinner actually if you fancy it. it's not too expensive it's really the food is amazing really really nice um, this light is making me look seriously half dead but um, it's the best I can do in the back of the car because we're back in England very sad to be not in Florence. The second restaurant is um, La Giostra which is actually really really famous and um, it is kind of touristy in a way, but it's just the atmosphere is amazing. So if you are a tourist in Florence, it's definitely a must visit. And again, I'll put the annotation as to where it was right here. It's kind of really a beautiful. It's kind of, um, what are they called? Are they vaulted ceilings when it's like that? Um, and the, the guy who um, runs it is this crazy guy with all these chains around his neck and like loads and loads of jewelry. And it's just kind of very interesting and lovely. And they greet you with a glass of Prosecco and all of that jazz and the food is really good. So they're my two other restaurant recommendations. Apart from that, I'm back in England um, and I will be commencing normal vlogging as of tomorrow. So I will see you then. Bye. I'm gonna say bye everybody. And bye, bye to Libby because she won't be with me anymore. Bye. bye. And bye to all the mums. Bye.